Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries and today I'm going to show you how I built this trash can cover to keep our trash can from blowing into the neighbor's yard. So if you're ready to get building, let's go. I don't know about the weather where you guys live, but I think the last two years since we built our garage house have been the windiest two years I can ever remember. Every day seems to be like 40 mile an hour winds around here. Luckily, we don't have a lot of things outside that can blow around, except for our trash can. It's been somewhat of a battle trying to keep it upright and in our own yard. So I built a simple box to keep it stored away in next to the house. Besides keeping it contained, it is a lot nicer to look at than our old ugly plastic can. I really don't know why I waited so long to build this. I've partnered with my friends at Build Something to bring you the free plans for this project and I will link them directly below. Okay, let's get building. I really wanted to keep this trash can cover simple, so I ended up making the entire thing from just 2x4s and 1x4s. So if you want this to last practically forever, I would recommend using treated wood or cedar, but this is a temporary living situation and we probably won't need it for too long, so I cheaped out and used regular untreated lumber. I did finish it though with outdoor sealant and paint, so it should still last us at least a couple of years, especially if I reapply finish each year. We have a typical plastic garage can, but I know they're not all created equal. Yours may be bigger or smaller. But I built this cover to accommodate cans about 44 inches tall, 24 inches deep, and 28 inches wide. So if yours is bigger than that, adjust accordingly, but if it's smaller, it should fit just fine. So to get started, I began cutting down my 2x4s to create two frames for the sides. I wanted the top to slant slightly towards the front, so I cut the top pieces with a seven degree angle on the miter saw. All of the dimensions and details are in the plans that I've linked below. Once I had all my pieces cut for the side frames, I used my Craig jig to drill one and a half inch pocket holes into the ends of the top and bottom piece. Then I attached the frame together with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. By the way, I used the Craig Blue Coat outdoor screws for this to help prevent them from rusting since it will be an outdoor project. After both frames were assembled, I cut three more two by fours to put the two frames together. I simply screwed these in place using three inch decking screws. You could also use pocket holes here if you didn't want to see the screw heads, but I was running low on my blue coat screws and my order for new ones hadn't come in yet. So I would have preferred to use pocket holes here, but it is what it is. I installed two of these two by fours at the top and one at the back edge towards the bottom. So I didn't install this all the way at the bottom, just so the board wouldn't be sitting on the ground. It will help protect it a little bit from moisture. Once I had the entire frame together, I brought it outside to double check that the trash can would in fact fit inside. I'd be really mad if I finished this build only to find out that my trash can did not fit. So after I confirmed that it did work fine, thankfully, I brought it back into the shop and built a frame for the door. Again, just like the side frame, I built this from 2x4s and used pocket holes and pocket hole screws to assemble. Once the box frame and the door frame were assembled together, I applied a couple of coats of exterior grade primer and paint. It's a lot easier to paint now than later after I added the slats since I was going with the two-tone black and wood combination. Once the paint was dry, I cut and installed one by four slats to line the side panels. I installed these with one and a quarter inch decking screws at the top and the bottom. And since these side panels are slanted, I started at the front and cut each consecutive slat a half inch longer than the next one. So that way I wouldn't end up being too short at the end where it is slanted.
Then I did the same thing for the door. I cut one by four slats and screwed them in place just like shown here. And finally, I added the roof slats the same way. I left about 3 16 to a quarter inch gap between the roof slats to help with water drainage, although most of the water should run off since I did slant the top. I should have stained all of these slats before I installed them, but I really couldn't decide if I liked them better with just a clear coat or if I wanted to stain them. So after thinking entirely too long about it, I finally decided that I thought it would look better stained. So I stained the top boards, the door, and the side slats with Minwax Early American. Once the stain was dry, I brushed on some Minwax Helmsman clear coat overall of the unpainted wood, both inside and outside. I clear coated everything just to protect it from moisture. Again, I know this will eventually rot, but if protected well, it will last this probably as long as we're going to need it while we live here. Once all the finish was dry, I brought it outside and set it in place. We had some leftover landscape rock that we set it on. I think this will help a little bit with the water drainage and also help level this area out some. To finish this project up, I attached the hinges on the door and added a little latch to keep the door shut. And it was finished. I'm glad to be able to hide the trash can, but I'm more glad that I don't have to be chasing it down in windstorms anymore. If you wanted, you could definitely make the top as one piece with hinges so that it opened up, but I opted to just have a door on this one. I didn't think that we would use the lid very much, mostly because I would have to rest it on my head or against the siding while I used both hands to open up the trash can and toss the bag inside. But to each their own, you could definitely do that if you thought that you would use it. So if you'd like to build your own, be sure to head over to the link below for the free plans. And if you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on what's coming next. Thanks so much for watching you guys and until next time, happy building.